Ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you that there is a simple setting you can do in Garry's mod that drastically will improve the performance? Or it is not even a setting in Garry's mod, it's a setting in Steam. And just doing this change can double your FPS in some, some circumstances. It's kind of insane. And you might say, well, that sounds like clickbait. And it does sound like clickbait, but... I'm going to try and prove me right. This is not clickbait. This is just truth. So let me show you how to drastically improve your Garry's mod performance with a simple setting. Why doesn't everyone know this? Gmodism. All right, here we have a little performance test. Um, this is my big airship. We get about 15 FPS. As for now, 17. Yeah, so this is what we can expect right now. All right, so to get 64-bit Garry's mod, you will just do like this, go to your Steam, right click it and select the options. And under the options here, we can go down to beta versions or uh, you know other versions of the game. And here we can see no, so this is uh, normal, 32-bit uh, Garry's mod. And like 95% of you will have 64-bit systems. If you have a quite old system, um, there is a small possibility that you have a 32-bit system, especially if you've got a laptop that's very old. And if you think you might have a 32-bit system, you can check it like this. Get your file browser, Windows E, and then you right-click on it the this PC right click on this PC and click on properties and inside here you can see here we set some processor stuff like that do, 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 do. system type 64 bit operating system so if it says 32 bit operating system you can unfortunately not do uh, this little boost but if it says 64 as it should for most of you uh, then you can go ahead and if it doesn't work for some reason, it's very easy to re revert it. So in the beta version, you just click this here. And then this is uh, none. And this we don't want. So we go down until we see x86 64 chromium plus 64 bit binaries. Click on that. And now the game will need to update. And if this doesn't work, like if you have some issues or if you get some something that doesn't work with like, um, I don't know, crashing servers, add-ons, if something would be a problem, you'll just go back here and you'll just select none again. Simple as that. So uh, wait for it to up to... Uh, wait for it to update to 64-bit and then we can just click play. And when we do, it's like super handy. We'll just click like that. And it even asks you if you want to launch it 32 or 64. So select 64 to be sure and just click start. And here we are. Welcome inside 64-bit Garry's mod. Oh my god. So we're back in the same map with the same add-on spawned. And we are seeing 40, 50, sometimes 60 FPS just by changing that simple setting. So I'm not kidding you, this will drastically improve your performance in Garry's mod, like it's, it's, it's quite amazing actually. How can I have played this game so long without realizing this setting? Because this setting has actually been around for a while and it should have been released i think to a stable branch but it wasn't i don't know why they delayed it because like everyone is saying this is more stable this branch is better and more stable than the normal one so and we can clearly see like it just lags so much less like we can move it around and we still get like 30 and it usually goes super slow when we do that with like when I normally do it. So it's, it, it's like really smooth. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Thanks a lot for watching. And you should definitely subscribe to the Gmod SM channel for more videos. And don't forget our weekly Gmod map reviews. In any case, 
do stay tuned. This is your host, Jim Anderson. We're signing out.